everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and tonight I need to take a look at Avira Antivir version 9 free. Uh, the big upgrades in version 9 free are um, anti-adware and anti-spyware are now included. This uh, is available through download.com for the month of March and then it will go out to general release uh, everywhere else uh, for download. Um, this is a 28 megabyte installer. This PC is clean. We're going to do a, a prevention test. We're going to see how well Avira can prevent uh, malware from being loaded onto uh, this PC. I have uh, 10 malicious URLs that I'm going to go ahead and test against uh, Avira Antivir. So let's go ahead and get started with the install right now. If you were looking at some of my other reviews, you saw the last version of Avira was pretty much perfect uh, at preventing malware from loading. Uh, granted, I think I only tested five URLs, but you know it did a, it did a five for five thing. The malware I have today uh, was released today, so this will be a pretty hardcore test. And they have a nice little snazzy, you know, graphically upgraded installer here. And I'm just choosing defaults like any other normal user would do. Pretty fast installer, really. It's it's uh, pretty good. I use a uh, Avira Antivir personally on every computer I have as kind of a second line of defense. Um, two computers that uh, two computers. My first line of defense would be Defense Wall, and then um, my other two computers use uh, Guess Wall, and then I have Avira kind of sitting in the background just in case. Uh, just in case something weird happens, you never know. Uh, what I'm going to do now is configure something called A H E A D, a head. <laughs> and that is the Avira Personal. Um, it's Avira's way to, uh, to attempt to identify unknown malware and it uh, uses uh, heuristics to do that. Antivir, uh, antivir personal, free antivirus is attempting to a detailed analysis to identify any undetected malware. Um, it's basically just the heuristics engine. I was looking for this for this text right here. Select advanced heuristic analysis and detection technology settings. We're going to go ahead and go with this, the default which is medium. I'm going to go ahead and select all these categories. Normal start or safe start? Normal start starts the um, antivirus guard kind of later in the Windows boot slash load process. Safe start loads it as early as possible, but it's going to go ahead and increase your boot time. I am always going to go ahead and go with safe start because if something gets past a Vera, um, I want to go ahead and have the option of having a Vera loading um, quick and then trying to deal with the malware that was loaded on the computer. Or if you if you do what I do and you go out and you clean PCs, um, you load a Vera and you load a Vera on an infected system. 
what you want to do is uh, you want to have that antivirus load as soon as possible um, to prevent uh, malware loading before the antivirus. So I hope that kind of explains it. It's an awesome feature and I'm glad they included it. I don't need to perform a short scan. This is a pretty much fresh PC. Okay, so Vera loads, doesn't require reboot, but then uh, what also kind of threw me for a loop is it doesn't try to update right away, and it needs to do that. So I'm going to try to do an update. And we're downloading the update now. And Avira Free has one little gotcha. Uh, every day, every time it does an update, it's going to throw up this little ad that says, uh, for $26.95 you get uh, the premium version, which uh, stops a whole bunch of other stuff. You can just click OK to dismiss it. So the update's going pretty quick. 178 kilobytes a sec and it's actually installing the updated files ten files have been successfully updated alright let me go grab some malicious URLs and let's get going with this alright I've got my files right here my URLs I've got ten of them I tested these earlier today, so hopefully they're still active. The first one we're going to test is a Trojan downloader. Whoops. And Avira automatically detects it as a downloader, and we're going to say deny access. So why do we say deny access? Well, basically, anytime you find malware that's loaded from the Internet, as in you're browsing the Internet, just doing your normal day-to-day -day stuff, and all of a sudden you see an alert like this. Well, you, you found a site that's been hijacked and it's trying to infect you. You need to deny access to prevent this file from downloading and executing. If you go out and you're cleaning off a family member's PC or your own infected PC and the malware is already on the PC, then you want to quarantine it. Um, you don't want to delete usually because deleting gets rid of it. And what if it's a legitimate file that was accidentally identified by Avira? Uh, well, then you're, you're in trouble because you can't get it back. So always uh, move to quarantine if you have a PC that's already been infected deny access if you have a PC that's clean and accidentally stumbled upon something on the internet. So I denied access if I try to run it. Um, it should not do anything. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Let's go to link number two. So link number one was blocked successfully. Link number two looks like it's dead. Uh, link number three. Link number three is blocked. We'll say deny access. And deny access. It was actually two files. And let's see if we see anything in here. No. And that was a drive by exploit. This is another drive by exploit. This is link number four. will deny access and deny access. Link number five. 
Link number five was another exploit. We'll go ahead and deny access. Link number six is a rogue. Rogues typically get by a lot of uh, antiviruses. They, I guess, don't consider them serious enough. Or there's just far too many versions of them. And I'll say, okay, this looks weird, so I'll close the site. And then I get another message saying that I, I am infected. And I better run this file. And Avira says, uh-uh. Contains ad spy gen, adware or spyware. We'll say deny access. Deny access. Okay, let's go ahead and test out a Trojan. Okay, and a virus Trojan dropper will say deny access, deny access. And we have another Trojan. And Avira detects it as Trojan Wald Waldak, which is absolutely horrible. And we just denied access to all that. Link number nine is a drive-by exploit. And it looks like it's dead now. And link number ten is a Trojan. Looks like link number 10, this Trojan, uh, if it is indeed a Trojan, got right through, um, was not detected. Unless it's just being slow about it. Well, I actually don't see it anymore. Um, ah, yeah, it got right through. And we have a fake uh, alert down on our system now. Says you have a security problem. It's redirecting us to the same kind of fake page. And it wants me to download scanner.exe. It's a very large rogue. <laughs> and we just installed some fake privacy center rogue that got through. So I'll count. Wow. Okay. There's some. Indian chick talking in my headphones uh, saying, you know, critical system alerts and all this other stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, and then I can't actually do anything when I'm in here. I can't click out. I'm just stuck. Uh, if I send control I'll delete. Let's go ahead and end this privacy. Okay, so got all kinds of fake, uh, well, two of them. Uh, two, two fake rogues down there. One pretty unique. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and do a reboot and see if the early load uh, somehow detects these guys and, and see if it gets rid of uh, these, uh, this fake warning and this, this rogue uh, that Avira missed. And 
and I'll pause the video while it's reboot. I'll spare you. Okay, the PC's booting up right now, and I just heard the Avira uh, little beep saying it found some malware. Okay, it found this Privacy Center uh, um, rogueware. And we're gonna, this is already on my PC, so I'm gonna say move to quarantine. And it's found this privacy center thing again. Move to quarantine. So that was a beautiful uh, demo of how that early load can really help you. So basically, you know, we sacrifice loading time to have a clean PC, which is fine by me. Uh, the hard drive's still crunching away. Everything's calm now. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And let's look at our task manager and see if we see anything kind of odd in here. Uh, everything looks uh, normal. Doesn't mat Doesn't mean there's there's not anything there. That, that, that's malicious, but it looks pretty normal. Uh, also, I do, I do not have any fake alerts down here anymore. They're gone. Um, the early load probably took care of that. Let's go ahead and open up our browser and, and make sure that we're free of adware. Nothing got loaded or bound in there. And let's just go to Google. And we'll search for free antivirus. No re no redirection on the AVG site, which is always redirected. And if I go to the Vera site, no redirection there. And if we go to Let's see, let's go to another one. Another result page. If we go to Bitdefender. If we try to go to Facebook. So, nothing, uh, nothing was loaded uh, AdWare-wise into my browser. It's pretty solid. And the PC runs fine, and Avira did a fantastic job at preventing stuff. I'd say about 90% uh, uh, prevention rate from what from what I saw. It uh, did let a little bit of the adware, rogueware come through, but it blocked all the real serious stuff. So, um, and the early load was an awesome, awesome feature. So if you're looking for a free antivirus, this is my favorite one, and that is uh, Avira Antivir version 9 uh, free. That is my favorite free antivirus. Um, I just want to go ahead and close up and say never depend on an antivirus. Get used to using a sandboxer uh, or HIPS product or uh, some kind of behavior blocker. Probably more on the HIPS side, really, uh, or sandboxing side and keep Avira as your second line of defense. Uh, a good example of that would be, let's say you download a legitimate product and um, you think it's legit and it's actually infected. Well, Avira would go ahead and um, be there to stop that infection from loading, hopefully. Um, so that's it for me tonight. I need to go watch some movies now. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this for you guys. And uh, go ahead and visit my website whenever you can. It's uh, remove-malware.com. I also have uh, some pretty active forums on there as well. So go ahead and visit those. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So talk to you guys later.